What's up guys, it's Mark again, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So, excuse me, just shot a stud this morning. There's still a bunch of deer hanging out around here. In fact, I saw one or two does right after, actually three, right after I shot the buck. Um, in fact, one of them walked right by my tree but I was on the ground dealing with the buck so I'm just here enjoying a lovely afternoon hoping that maybe I can double up today we're just gonna just hang out see if something comes by but my day cannot be broken it's a hell of a day I guess if you're seeing this it means something did happen but if you want to watch that other video of me shooting that stud, you can click somewhere up there. I'm going to go silent. I just saw a big gobbler walk by. Hopefully a deer does the same thing. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down. Well, I just shot a doe. Yeah. I don't think I made a great shot. I think I probably hit a little far back. Might've got all guts, but I'm thinking probably got some liver. So I'm gonna go see if I can't find the arrow and uh, hopefully it looks good. All right, so I just found the arrow. You can definitely see there's some gut contents on there, but I already knew that because it was pretty far back. The good news is that blood is pretty bright, but um, looks pretty good. I don't see bubbles, so I'm gonna stick that right there. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna take up the trail a little bit and see uh, if I can't find some good blood. So I'm gonna try and track this doe, but before I do, I just marked the arrow, the hit site on uh, on stand because probably by the time I come out of there it's gonna be dark and um, I want to be able to find it again I'm just gonna mark blood on the map as I go in case I got to get a dog <laughs> but what's on the arrow looks good so I hope she's not too far in there Livery. 
I'll follow it in there where it gets a little thicker. Hopefully I'll find a little more blood. Immediately I just spotted this little bit of blood here. She looks like she's bleeding pretty decently. I hope she's right in there. Here's one thing I don't understand. How did they run through there and that spider web is still there? Well, this right there. That makes me happy because that's a bubble. So I'm pretty sure we're dealing with a dead doe. She's starting to open up now. Oh yeah, she's bleeding good. guys a uh, little update so um while i was tracking the doe i got about 100 yards in um and the blood stopped and it was weird because it's like super thick on either side like you know usually they kind of follow the path of least resistance well she didn't um and uh, while I was kind of standing there trying to figure out where she went, um, she picked up and started running. Um, she was in a super thick palmetto thicket. She probably went another 60 yards, and it sounded like she bedded back down. Um, so I got out of there. I got a dog coming. I got a pretty good idea where she is. Um, it was definitely a liver hit. Um, and... So the general rule of thumb is if you punch them in the guts, wait eight hours for them to die. Um, if you shoot them in the liver, wait four hours. Um, and you know, lungs obviously pretty quick. Um, so we're giving it four hours. Uh, I shot her just about six o'clock, so a little bit before six. Uh, so we're going to start walking in around 9.30. By the time we get over there, she should be dead as, as can be. So um, hopefully this dog does a good job. Um, if you're interested in getting a dog, um, if you run into a similar situation, there's two great places to do it. Uh, one, on Facebook, you can find the Florida Blood Trailing Network as a group. And uh, you can go on there, post where you are. Um, if you have pictures of the arrow or what the blood looks like, that'll help the trackers determine uh, whether or not, um, you know, they need to wait a little bit longer, how much time to give it, all that stuff. Um, so post on there, or you can go on a different group called uh, Central Florida Deer Recovery. And that one's obviously a little more centered around the Central Florida area. Somebody told me about this couple that lives right down the road here. And um, they supposedly have a great dog. And so uh, they just sounded really confident and that's important to me. So they're gonna come, um, we're gonna put their dog on it, hopefully get a recovery here. Um, another thing to keep in mind, if you do end up uh, wanting to call a dog, don't keep going in there. Like go in there, see what you can find. If you lose blood, just back out. Or if you have, even have a feeling that um, you're not gonna find blood, um, or if you see on the arrow that you got guts, just back out, get a dog. Uh, if you go walking around in there over and over again, you're, the dog is going to end up uh, smelling you and get confused. Not always, but it can happen. So you don't want to mess up the track. So when I noticed she was in that thicket, I stopped. I got the heck out of there. Um, if you can avoid walking over the track again, um, if you can walk like a loop around, do that. Um, so that you leave the scent of that deer on the trail as, as good as possible. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab some dinner and meet these people back here and hopefully we can find this doe. All right, y'all, so the trackers are here, back there somewhere. We got this little puppy and we're gonna go see if we can find this deer. Let's get after it. Come on. <laughs> She's like, I smell deer everywhere. Okay. 
Okay, which way to go? In there. So I tracked it about 100 yards, so she can uh, find her scent and, and we'll go at her pace, but I know approximately where we should be finding this thing. I got pins on the map and stuff. Where's it at, honey? Yep, where's it at? Come on. Come on, Hopper, where's it at? Go get it. Where'd you find your blood at? Um, Am I still on the same trail? Yeah, it should be approximately here. Um, there's blood like there, right there. So um, I found a little bit like on this grass, but yeah, from, from here. So there's a little bit of blood right here and she's on the trail. And there's blood all through here, but I already mapped most of it, so we can just blow right through it. At one point here, there's going to be a rub on the right, and that's where the deer went in, to the right into this thicket. Yeah. Right here? No, it's okay. it's further down, but at some point the deer switched sides. So come on, I don't remember Thanks. where it was. Come on, you don't know where to switch sides at. Come on. Yep. What? You didn't double back, right? No, I I saw it running out that way when I kicked it up. I mean, it's possible that it doubled back for a little bit, but, and that, she might be on that. But, uh, there's like, at one point it starts getting pretty bloody. Yeah, I've got some pins on the map, so. Okay. Um, there's like a little wet spot right here, and then after this, it starts getting a little bloody. We're moving so fast, I haven't even seen blood. Oh, here's a bit of blood right here. On that right, she's, wor she's working it. Yeah, she's working it. Right. Yeah, I think that's actually the way the blood goes. But. All right, you see that? Uh, is that it? Is that a rub right? No, it's up there. Yeah. See that rub right there? Yeah. So this is about where the blood stops, yep. and then it goes, it went in there somewhere. Okay. It went a little further up this way, and then, and then I lost it. Remember that spot right there, honey? Yeah, this, this rub right there. Okay. So I think she went in like here somewhere, mm -hmm. but, I wasn't about to try and track in that. Yeah. Where's Puffer? What's Puffer doing? She might be smelling me because I went a little ways up. Okay. Where's that rub at? Right here. And where was the last blood? There's blood right here too. Somewhere around here. There's blood on some of these branches. Where's it at? Oh, here's. Is that a bit of blood? There's a bit of blood. Yeah, there's some blood right there. Puffer. Yeah, hey, pay attention. Hey. Is she, <laughs> she eating it? Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where's it at, Puffer? Where's it at? Let's get it. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Get on. Give her more leash. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm seeing what she's doing here. Come on. Hey. Now, see, there's blood right here, too. Is it? Yeah, right yeah. there. So it didn't leave the trail yet. Nope. Come on, Puffer, look. Oh, see, she's getting a whiff of yeah, it right here. She hey. smell it. Thank she you. smells it. I want it, Puffer. I want it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Where's that deer? Get it. Get it, Puffer. Get it. Oh, she seems reinvigorated. Get it. Get it, Puffer. Get it. Where's it at? Come on, let's get it. Where's it at? There you go. Is that blood? Yep, there's blood. Come here. Puffer. Puffer right here. Come on, let's hey, get it. Hey. Huh. Kind of wondering if the deer I kicked up is... Is the deer that you were after? Yeah. 
because I could have sworn it was you over there. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh shit, it's yeah. opening up. Yeah. Well crap, I might have stopped right before get the deer might the deer get might just be laying up here. Where's that Papa? Get it, Papa, get it. Where's it at, Papa? Get it, Papa, get it. Get it, Papa, get it. Get it, Papa, come on. For more blood. I mean, now she's getting hot. No, no that's just fine. No, this is blood here, ain't it? You got blood right there? No, that's just pine tree. Yeah. Right back there is where I have some blood. Get it, Popper, get it. Popper's backtracking on us. Oh, I'm getting wrapped up. Keep her going. Oh, there you go. Come on, Popper, this way. Let's she go. dove into here. Could have went on either side, but then. Mm. Settle. Settle. I feel like she smells something. Oh, she's, she does. She's getting excited. You're gonna have to wait. Which way does she wanna go? She wanted, she wanted to go forward, but she's looking all around. Just give her one second. I just wanna make sure. We're... Make sure, and I'm all trying to loose. Yeah. Wait, it right. looks like something went through here, too. I'll just stay in the and just wait. Let her work it. I know. Well, I got blood, I think, right here. I think so. Does that look like blood to you? Yep. Yep. So it went through here. That's where Puffer wanted to go earlier, wasn't it? I think so. It is. Yep, there's blood on that too, right there. Going into Narnia. Oh, God. Yeah, that deer I kicked up has got to be it. Huh? The deer I picked up has got to be it. So the tricky thing is at this stage, the deer would have been bounding up and over. So there's really not going to be... Want me to let her go in here? There's yeah. not going to be much of a trail. Come on. Yep. I got her on the GPS. Yep. I got her off. Let's go find a deer. Come on, right, Papa. Papa uh, I got blood right here. Where? Right here. Come here, Papa. D Maybe she dealt double back. Yep. Let her double back. Come on, Puffer. Go get him, Puffer. Go get him. Where's it at? Let's go. There's blood right here. I'm trying to make sure it didn't go through here. Go get him, Puffer. It looks like it went this way. Stay right there where the last blood got there. Right I'm going to just follow you and look for more. I can tell you this much. It's going to be... The deer I saw run is probably going to be about 75, 80 yards from where we're at right now. So. She should be on your watch too, maybe. Trying to find some blood so you can come closer. I don't see any. She's right here, isn't she? Yeah. Yeah, What's up, Puffer? Where you, where are you going? We're going that way, huh? She's just getting tangled up. Where's it at? Find it. She keeps doubling back. Okay. She's right here. All right, I guess we're going that way. We should be right around where this deer was bedded down, so she's probably gonna find a pool of blood somewhere here.
She's up there. Jip, 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 jip. Come on. Come on. Come here. Puffer. <clears throat> Delta. Come on. Come here. Did you find something? Yeah. What you got? Where she batted down? Yeah. She's going where that deer ran out. Come yeah. on back, cut, cat. Well, you got a, you got right a bed. Got deer right here. A deer? Yeah. <laughs> no. Back. She followed that scent. Hey, there's a deer right there. Come here. So that deer bounded off. It ran around here. And That's it what... came right back and bedded in the same spot. Cause I saw that thing run way over there. Delta. Yeah, the deer's right here. Delta, come here. Delta. What? Delta, come here. She, she went right past it. Good job, Puffer. Yeah, I must have walked all in there. That's what she was doing. She went right by it. Oh, I, I saw this thing bounding out that way, way further than this. And it must have came right back and piled up right here. You can come over here, honey. And this is why sometimes you just gotta get a dog. There's no way in hell I would have found this without a dog. I don't yeah, even know. I don't even know how you spotted all it. In there, huh? I don't even know how you spotted it. Good girl. There you go. Yeah, good girl. But she was all. She was working that whole area right there. That's why I knew. When I seen her work in the area, when that's why I started coming. That's why I knew that deer was right here somewhere. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl, Pepper. Hey, yeah. Good girl. Through that. You're done, Puffer. All right, guys. So it's the next morning now. Um, I just uh, last night we got that doe out of there. Uh, I got back here um, at like 12 o'clock, and uh, I was exhausted. I'm still exhausted. I just put the doe in the walk-in fridge here, um, and. Uh, <clears throat> Got the heck out of it got the heck into my bed so i didn't even gut her i'm about to do that right now i hope you guys uh enjoyed that video you know uh there's no way i would have found that deer without the dog um even though i knew it was probably dead pretty close by navigating those palmettos is just so difficult um so I'm glad I was able to get that dog and and if you're in Central Florida and you're uh, you need a processor make sure y'all check out Adam Steele um, he's honestly one of the best and the nicest guys out there um, and uh, a great friend and it's real convenient to stay at his house so that I can just throw a deer into the walk-in and go to bed but um, all right I'm gonna put his information down in the description if y'all wanna stick it in your phones if you're in Central Florida. He is the man, trust me. Um, and uh, make sure you like and subscribe and do all that good stuff and we'll catch you guys next week.